Today's news, popular YouTuber responds to negative messages from BTS fans about her V transformation video. Let's turn this down a little bit. This is Little May Elephant, painted live on the internet, twitch.tv slash Back. May is a special month. Yes, May is a special month. The Hallyback family is joining together on Twitch and we are part of a much bigger awesome fundraising event called St. Jude Play Live, which we're raising money for St. Jude Children's Medical and Research Hospital. So far, the Hallyback family has raised well over a thousand dollars, which is so exciting and we've only started out the month. So we've got the rest of the month to go to raise as much money as we can to try to help kids with cancer and other really terrible diseases. And she's live streaming right now another painting session. Check that out and follow her on Twitch. A Filipina YouTuber named Promise Fawn recently did makeup transformations of BTS members V and G Min and received some hate from armies. Yes, she's a very popular YouTuber. She's actually cousin of Michelle Fan, who is an extremely popular YouTube makeup guru. Promise Fan has 4.5 million YouTube subs. So she's very popular and she's also, I saw she's done 33 celebrity transformation videos, including such names as people like Beyonce and Miley. The fact that out of those 33, two of them were BTS members, I'm sorry, I have to call it. That is saying something about the power of BTS. There are a lot of armies that watch these videos, so please comment down below what's your reaction to this. Just to be clear about what we are talking about, I wanna read directly from the article, which is linked down below. The famous YouTuber Promise Fawn is well known for her incredible transformations into various celebrities and cartoon characters with makeup. Recently, she transformed into BTS's V and Jimin, but according to a video on her Instagram story, armies are anything but happy at the transformation. I screen captured a couple of tweets that people had quote tweeted according to what she wrote on her Twitter. One of them quote tweeted her and said, report her to stop her from doing the rest of the members. Another person quote tweeted and said, what the fuck, stop it. I don't understand why people are upset by this. I understand why they're upset, but I think that it's absolutely stupid and I think that they need to stop. The people that are hating. The people that are hating. Now, mind you, I watched, or I didn't watch because I can't watch. She privatized the videos. But you can go and see the actual transformations. V was actually pretty decent. She also did one of G-Min that I thought didn't actually look like G-Min at all. But that's me personally. Well, she's a girl. So, and, and not that girls can't look like guys. They can, but she's not necessarily going to look like a man to begin with. So to put makeup on and then try to look like a man and actually pull it off pretty well because I saw all the photos too. She looks good for V, even though she doesn't look like V that much. Well, there is a lot of power of makeup and you can transform yourself to look like other people. And she's done a whole lot of different people and races and animals in the past and nobody has ever gotten this upset by it. And that's one thing that really shocked her and made her upset about all of this. I did capture a couple of comments from the article. This is an effing terrible and I am appalled and disgusted by the reactions that she received. Remember that armies represent BTS. So there's a person that doesn't like that armies or somebody was hating on this girl for transforming herself with makeup. Another comment. Yes, that's what happened to me. I really want to stand BTS, but the majority of the fans are so annoying. This is someone who wants to like BTS, but doesn't necessarily listen to their music because she doesn't like the fans. That's kind of strange. I never really took that angle before. I can see why that would happen because when you are in a position of power, and I'm sorry, but BTS fandom clearly has a lot of power. Their social media, their army is one of the biggest in music internationally right now. And with a lot of power comes a lot of responsibility. Yes, I know that's a Spider-Man quote, but even so, it's relatable and it's real in this situation. ARMY is representing BTS. Do you think BTS would actually be upset if they saw this video of somebody painting their face to look like them? No, any promotion of BTS at all, almost 100% across the board is good for them. I mean, something super negative that I can't even think of off the top of my head might upset them or might be looked 
on as very unfavorable, but overall promotion is a good thing for anybody who's looking to get their craft or their music or whatever they're pushing out there. And the fact that she has 4.5 million YouTube subscribers and out of 33 celebrity transformations that she's done, that two of them were BTS members. I mean, if I've never heard of BTS and I'm seeing she's doing all these famous people and she's doing this V and who's V? I, BTS? V? I don't know. I'm going to Google search it. I'm going to find out who it is. And this could actually help grow the fandom even bigger. But going back to the responsibility of being part of the BTS ARMY, you are part of actually bringing K-pop in yeah. to the international community and getting it recognized by people who've never ever heard of K-pop and of BTS. Right now, you guys are representing K-pop, especially in the upcoming Billboard Music Awards. So, on that note, how do you want your K-pop known? How do you want people to look at K-pop? Do you want K-pop to have a lasting fandom internationally where they're re well respected? Because the way that the fans behave is actually going to reflect on the artists themselves. There is no way that 100% of people can behave properly. It is an impossibility at this moment in time in 2017. And I'm not talking about ARMY, I'm talking about People in general. It's too much to ask that everybody behave appropriately. And especially if you're looking at people who like K-pop, that's a wide spectrum of people, including teenagers. And I'm not saying teenagers are the worst, but teenagers are the ones with the least amount of experience. I know when I was a teenager, I did so many things wrong. I did so many regrettable actions in my life. These are things in my past that I don't want to ever replicate. I've Try to be a good person now. Not that I wasn't a good person, but I just made poor choices. People who are 15, 16, 17, whatever, you have the internet at your fingertips. You're gonna possibly write something that you regret or that you wish you didn't write months, years down the road. The people that are hating on whoever, I mean, because this person is popular, if you're not, if you haven't worked hard in your life to get to a point where people respect you because you work hard and people actually know who you are because you're a famous YouTuber, and you, all you see is the fame, you don't realize that that person worked their butt off to get to that point. You're 15, you don't have the experience and you just say something you don't mean 10 years down the road. Well, and I think there's also something to do with K-pop fandoms because there's so much competition in K-pop. Being a member of a K-pop fandom can actually be a little bit deflating at times and can actually make it, I feel like it makes people more obsessed because it's so hard to see K-pop if you're outside Korea. It's so expensive, it's so difficult to go and see. I just saw a tweet today, somebody posted a tweet about wanting to go see Monster X and they saw plane tickets to Atlanta that were good price but they hadn't announced the prices to the actual concert yet. I just, with my friend Danielle, we just bought tickets to see G-Dragon and they were so expensive. Expensive. You get this elitist mentality, I feel. Or you could get this elitist mentality, especially because maybe you have friends, they don't like BTS, maybe they make fun of you for liking a K-pop group or being into K-pop. So you get this like obsessive mentality about it. I don't know if that's your case, but I'm just trying to envision and put myself in somebody who likes BTS, but nobody understands me and I want to see them, but they're so expensive and tickets sell out so fast and what is this person doing who you know how could she be such a k-pop fan and she's doing these bad versions of you know v and g men and why is she putting this on her channel is she really a bts stan is she really an army and a bts fan like i can see how somebody would go to the extreme and become obsessive and kind of maniacal about it that's basically half of everybody you just described <laughs> Comments, you guys. Your reaction to this. Love it? Hate it? How do you feel? I think this also goes to show the difference between beauty YouTubing and covering entertainment and especially Korean entertainment because the fandoms do range from very loving and supportive to a very attack mode. Ah! Versus beauty YouTubing, which she said she's never had or experienced anything like this. And I know, looking at the comments, I've seen this. Anytime that you get yourself involved with K-pop, you and I know this very, very well. 
You have to fend off haters. You never really get used to hate. I don't care what people think when you put yourself in a position where a lot of people are gonna hear your voice and you're talking about K-pop. Not everybody's gonna agree with you and then when people don't agree, sometimes they get really nasty. It sucks. It screws me up. I've gotten sort of used to it, but I don't know, whatever, dude. Sometimes you're gonna just shut the comments off. I just feel for Promise. I hope that she On that doesn't, note. that this doesn't discourage her from ever doing anything Korean or K-pop related ever again. She'll do it. She got five more members to go. <laughs> Click the like button, you guys. Thank you so much for supporting us. Click the bell for notifications. Check out the link to KGAL. Don't forget to subscribe for more Hollywood back news. That's it, we're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.